Alright, so I'm making this tutorial for one specific reason. How to get GIFs to work for Vegas. Now, why am I showing you this? Well, the other day I tried to import a GIF into Vegas and things went horribly wrong. Vegas does not like GIFs. Apparently, it tries to compensate for slow running GIFs. In other words, GIFs that run in 10 frames a second. And most Vegas videos are made from 24 to 60 frames a second. So, bottom line is, Sony Vegas is a $600 program that can't seem to handle GIFs properly. So, what I'm here to do, and what I'm going to try and show you today, is how to make GIFs proper for Vegas. And I figure the best way to start is to show you where I've been getting my GIFs from. Now, this may be the source of the problem, but hey, at least we're getting, you know, the right foot started. So, let's start. First, I'm going to show you where I export my GIFs from which is Fighter Factory. And it's a program made to edit characters for Mugen. Now Mugen is a fighting game where you can pit any character against any character. I'll put a link at the bottom of the page to show you where you know you can get the game and it's free, which is great. And all the characters, which are free, which is even better. And you know, you'll see it from there. So let's, uh, yeah, I'll pick the one I decided to before. And this little cactus right here converts it to a GIF. Now, you see this little slider bar down here. It's called the Velocade. Velo... Chidate... Whatever. It just controls the speed. And it doesn't really matter how fast it goes. I've messed with the setting a bunch of times. It still has the same effect when I throw it at Vegas. But for now, let's just kind of throw it at a... You know, nah, that's not good. Eh, yeah, that'll work. So save. And we'll call it Floor Fire. Yeah, as I did before. Save. And we're good. All right. Next... We're going to go into Vegas, so I can show you what it looks like. Well, the problem form of it, anyway. File, import, media, scroll down, and... Da, 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 da. Where did it go? Where did it... Oh, there it is. Duh. Um, okay, there we go. Drag it in the timeline, and here we are. Now, let's see. It starts out fine, and then that happens. See? It's already starting right here. And then the next frame, and then see... See how it's just, it, it's even got the two previous frames in it from before. So, yeah, not exactly a fan of this effect. See, I can make it loop and show you how it really looks like. Now, you may be saying, oh, this just happens because it's not pre-rendered. No, I've rendered, like, a bunch of these GIF videos and it's always the same. It goes like this, this fugly-ass effect. So how do we fix this? Well, it's simple. First, we go to Photoshop. Then we go to File. Now here comes the tricky part. This has to be in Photoshop 32-bit extended. Doesn't matter which one it is, you know, three, four, or five, doesn't matter. But it has to be extended and you'll see why in a minute. Go to import video frames to layers. See, we're already in the folder that I want to be in. You have to type in asterisk, which is on the eight key, period, and then asterisk again. Type in enter, bam, you get your GIFs. I'm not sure why Photoshop works like this. I guess it's just they're too retarded to include a, you know, a GIF option down here. Anywho, scroll down. Do, 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 do. Floor fire. Make sure from beginning to end and make frame animation are selected. Click OK. Loading, loading. And bam. We've got our GIF preview thing right here, our GIF editor. And down here, huh, how odd. First frame's like all the way up here for some reason. Oh, well, we can take care of that. Arrow, move, and does it match to the... Eh, close enough. Um, I'm not sure why it does this. I have no clue as to why. Again, it's just Photoshop, probably buggy that way. Anywho, you're going to see this tiny, tiny, tiny button down here. It'll convert it. To a timeline animation. See how that little one window popped up right there? Yeah, convert to timeline anim animation. You're going to want to click that. And bam, timeline animation. See, I'm not sure why you're supposed to do this, but I guess this is just what works. So, go to File. Save for web devices. Loading. Oh, here we go. Now, this part is very, very important. And I'd write this down. Um, I'll probably include a transcript with this. 
probably, hopefully, if I don't forget. Um, you're going to click the eyedropper tool, which is this little squeegee thing that you use to baste turkeys with. Click on the white. You always want to click on the background color. Click it. You'll see the little square right here is highlighted. You're going to want to drag your mouse down all the way down here to this little icon right here. That little checkerboard icon. It'll say maps selected colors to transparent. Basically makes the background transparent. So that way you don't get stuck with an ugly white background when you export it and import it, yada, yada, yada. Click save. And we'll just call this floor fire edited. Yay. Save. And you're done. Now go back into Vegas. Get rid of this. Import. Media. Scroll, 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 scroll. Down to where it says floor fire edited. Yay. We'll go ahead and uncheck that loop playback. And do that. And look at that. We've got ourselves a nice, clean, even additive. If, 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 what do they call it? Oh, it's just add. Anyway, it's nice and shiny and it's clean and it works. And there you go. That's, uh, that's how you do it. Now, I don't know if this will work with all GIFs, but it should work for anyone who's having that little ghosting problem that we've had earlier. Um, I guess that's about it. Um, any questions or um, any concerns, any problems that you've had so far, I'll try and help out as much as I can. Um, as far as my experience with Vegas, um, I've used it for about maybe a couple of months. So my experience with this isn't exactly golden. But hey, I managed to figure this out and the Sony Vegas techs couldn't even figure this one. So yay, points for me. Um, well, I guess that's it. All right, hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, hope it helps with your future endeavors.